Hi everybody, it's me, and it has been a while, and I'm back at home, back in Hong Kong, back in my office, and uh, as I promised, I was to shoot a video to explain about uh, my take on Diana Oliver. The reason I want to do this video is because of the upcoming uh, work that is being, uh, is going to be auctioned at Philips uh, next week uh, in the context of the Spanish New Wave. And as uh, some uh, might know, I have been pretty open about it. That work is, uh, uh, I'm auctioning that work uh, because this is a kind of like a long-term project that I have been uh, working with together with Adriana. She's fully uh, aware and, uh, uh, and, uh, and she has been collaborating in this project as well as with Philips. I decided to, uh, to put that work, which is one of my, my, my several works that I have in the collection is because of the context that Philips uh, uh, gave. I think is, uh, uh, I did like, I mean, something that I have been, uh, I've been saying for quite a while in a, in a nice study. And this is, as you know, I'm also working on a separate project for, with different Spanish artists, which we're going to bring in in, in September. I do see a, 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 an expression, a, a, like an emergence of a, of a new trend really coming out of Spain. And I have been traveling to the country, trying to pretty much understand why. And I went to Valencia to see the Festival of Fajas and pretty much you start a little bit of history from pretty much from post-Franco post post uh, era and uh, her old uh, uh, sense of, uh, of, uh, of freedom of expression that came afterwards, which I think is kind of like a peaking now and you can see it now in, uh, in, in all these expressions. And certainly the millennial generation has a big play uh, in it. It's uh, the, you, the, the expression that you see today coming out of Spain are, are, are clearly uh, millennial expressions coming from video games and, and manga, anime, from that uh, kind of like a global uh, childhood, which is actually the theme of the, the show that we're going to do in September with uh, uh, David De Limon uh, and many other artists that have that kind of like a that rhetoric. I contacted Adriana. I mean, for people that know me, know that I, I'm very close to her. I, I uh, pretty much discovered it on Instagram. Uh, I mean, I, I do scroll a lot, and I, and I, I, I go through Instagram looking for artists. And I'm not really looking about artists. I'm looking for new art expressions, like new ideas. And at that time, that was like about four or five years ago. Uh, I was seeing that uh, certainly Donald Trump, that the rhetoric of uh, 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 make America great again, the OK Boomer. And I did see that there was this disconnection between like the present and the past. There was uh, like a misunderstanding. I think, uh, that, that, and I, I do see it. And I also, because I had extensive conversation with people, uh, especially the younger people, perhaps millennials and Gen Z's about crypto and what happened during the dot-com bubble and so on. And there's, there's a lot of misunderstandings. Um, about it, and they would, I mean, a, a very large number of artists uh, have uh, have expressed about uh, uh, have explored uh, uh, memory, right, and how it uh, memory kind of like uh, erodes uh, with the passage of time. You only remember uh, certain bits or the or the piece that you you want to remember, and uh, I mean, you can take it. I mean, from magical realism and so on. They're all exploring that, that theme. I mean, her works are, are certainly exploring nostalgia, no doubt about it, but there's an element of anti-nostalgia in it. Uh, and, and that, because for me, it was always resonating that OK Boomer concept. And again, this is my take. I have not discussed this with Adriana. I think Adriana has not seen this video. So uh, this is my personal take. And, uh, and, uh, and, and I'm doing this video for full respect of Adriana. I always believe that if you want to respect someone, you, you, you should study that person and study their works rather than simply admire it. And this is actually what I'm doing. I have studied her works uh, extensively, try to understand uh, uh, the composition and, and, and link it to, uh, to historical uh, references and so on. And what I saw on Adriana's work is, uh, is, is, is this kind of like a anti-nostalgia. There's a, there's, a, there's a disconnection that I see between, between uh, what she perceives as the past and especially that path to the 60s and how she feels it. And, uh, and that was clear, for example, in the, in the Make America Great Again with Donald Trump, that he was trying to promote that, uh, that, uh, the, be the beautified 
a memory that we have over the over the on the silent generation, the silent generation, which is the the 60s, right? Which is very uniform. It's like the the, the uh, is that that generation actually is the one after uh, is the one before uh, the boomers. Uh, so it's really the silent, the one that were quite adult at that time, and it was very organized because they were the one who really pretty much took, uh, especially the United States, uh, the, the re quick recovery post-war. But what I like about their work is I didn't necessarily like uh, trying to understand or try to capture uh, those aesthetics, but the fact that she has this faceless expression, pretty much all her works, is denoting that sense of detachment, uh, which for me that translated quite quickly on that okay boomer, like I can under I I I I see your exp uh, your your aesthetics, but I don't relate to that. Hence, okay boomer. And for me, that work was like this is pretty clever. Uh, and since then, I think, uh, and, and, and over time she has been really exploring that, uh, that aesthetic, but as she explores it and she puts more characters and so on, her face has become even more mute. And, and for me, that is like really powerful. I mean, it's pretty, there's a famous book by, by a, a French philosopher called Marcel Proust. It's called, uh, In Search of, uh, uh Lost Time. It's the one, probably like, people that have read philosophy the one that he dips the Magdalene and eats it and then he goes back in time and oh lost the uh, past uh, the past time was always better and how beautiful it was and so on and this work is quite quite different this this Ariana's work are quite anti that and I love that I found it super clever I mean super cheeky uh that's the reason I decided to acquire it and uh, and why I have them and and and, and have that I mean, in, in every expression that she has, I mean, even from the 60s to a couple of works that I have is, is about race. Uh, and also she had that sense of detachment. It's, 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 it's very nihilist in a way, very, I mean, you can actually compare it to Japanese literature, that, uh, that, that, that uh, passiveness of, uh, of, uh, of, the, of the main characters. Uh, I found that so clever. And I mean, every time I see one of the works from Adriana, I'm like, wow, this is like brilliant. Because it's that criticism. I, I think she's the only, the first artist that I really see presenting that perspective uh, from uh, the critical perspective about nostalgia. A lot of works that you see now uh, are are exploiting nostalgia. Just look, just go to the films and you'll see like The Matrix and and, uh, and that Jurassic World. I mean, all the films, they, they, they feel like tasteless because they know they're just bombarding you with nostalgia. But Adriana works is different. It's very critical about it. I mean, it's, it's asking you to, to rethink. And uh, the other reason I have always been a great admirer of her work, and because she's, she's the work is is has has depth. This is the reason why I decided to do uh, participate in the auction because when uh, this conversation happened about eight or uh, a while ago, uh, eight or nine months ago, we, we started a conversation at a, at, a, at a dinner and the people at Phillips were there and then we were talking. I think I, you know, I was already after my first trip or my first recent trip from Spain and this, we started talking about like oh, the art, the, 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 uh, what, the, the evolution of art in Spain, the recent evolution of art in Spain. And that conversation led into, I mean, did I said like, a, yeah, I went to Valencia and I saw all these street artists and it was fantastic. And I mean, besides the museums and et cetera. And that idea started floating, and then just asking, I think we through conversation, asking which are like the, the dominant artists, and I, and I mentioned you need to pay attention to Ariana Oliver, what she's doing, uh, her expression about nostalgia, that exploration of nostalgia is extremely interesting because it's very, it's quite, it's quite, quite established now uh, uh, today. And I think that conversation led into a, into a project where they decided to do an auction, but curated. Uh, because I will say, I mean, I, I do receive a lot of interest on in her works, but but the only way that I'm decided to actually auction it was because it's within a context of of a, of, a, of, a, of an established movement, which nobody can deny that there's a major art movement coming out of Spain today. I mean, we have already have many artists that are consolidated, and uh, and, and Phillips decided to uh, to curate that show with, with that level of intellect, and I'm like, I'm in, absolutely, and especially positioning Adriana. I, I have been a great supporter of her career. As people, as people know, I mean, uh, from, from the beginning, I've been pretty much supporting her blindly. And when this opportunity came, of course, I talked to her and, uh, uh, and eventually through a lot of discussions and good discussions and bad discussions, I acknowledge that, uh, that it wasn't an easy decision, but, uh, but, it, but it turned out to be for the best. And, uh, 
and because this is this is about positioning her as a as, as a global reference and uh, and i'm really happy that that this auction is happening because uh, um, uh, she's going to be in a, as i told her a couple of days ago you're now in the history books and I really invite everybody to to look at her works uh, more deeply. Take some time to look at it because uh, what she's really is, is asking you what the, the dialogue that she wants with you is is to to to, to have a dialogue with uh, especially with the past and rethink if uh, if uh, if you if you have that that a strong association a strong connection with it if it's just uh, an attachment uh, an emotional attachment to the past or if it's the if it's actually the, the Good times were always better uh, because times are always changing and, and you cannot I mean I'm always a believer that uh, you cannot bring the past into the present you can you I mean you see it with certain people that they stay living in the past and you know how they get stuck Yeah, that was it. That was my take on Adriana Oliver. I really wanted to shoot this video to uh, to pretty much is, is is really to show her to to show her my deepest respect uh, for her work, uh, the great admiration that I have for her work. So uh, yeah, again, uh, feel free to uh, to message me if you agree or disagree, if you like it or dislike it, and uh, I'm more than happy to have uh, conversations. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm I love talking about nonsense, so. Uh, 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 not nonsense, but abstract thoughts. So, uh, yeah, happy to entertain discussion. So, yeah, so that was my take on Irena Oliver, and uh, and I hope to see you guys soon. Okay, cheers, bye.